Good morning, everybody. I am Deaconess Intern Claire here at Holy Shepherd. It is January 5th, 2024, and it's time for our daily devotion. We are in Isaiah chapter 65, and we're starting at verse 8. This is what the Lord says. As when juice is found, still found in a cluster of grapes, and people say, don't destroy it, there is still a blessing in it. So I will do on behalf of my servants. I will not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah, those who will possess my mountains. My chosen people will inherit them, and there will my servants live. Sharon will become a pasture for flocks and a valley of a core, a resting place for herds, for my people who seek me. But as for you who forsake the Lord and forget my holy mountain, who spread a table for fortune and fill bowls of mixed wine for destiny, I will destine you for the sword, and all of you will fall to the slaughter. For I have called, but you did not answer. I spoke, and you did not listen. You did evil in my sight, and chose what displeases me. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. My servants will eat, but you will go hungry. My servants will drink, but you will go thirsty. My servants will rejoice, but you will be put to shame. My servants will sing out of joy of their hearts, but you will cry out from anguish of heart and wail in brokenness of spirit. You will leave your name you will leave your name for my chosen ones to use in their curses. The sovereign Lord will put you to death, and his ser but to his servants he will give another name. Whoever invokes a blessing in the land will do so by one true God. Whoever takes an oath in the land will swear by the one true God. By the past troubles will be forgotten and hidden from my eyes. See, I will create new heavens and new earth, for the former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create, for I will create Jer Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jeru Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and crying will be heard in it no more. Never again will there be an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not live out his years. The one who dies at a hundred will be a, thought a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered accursed. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will put, plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others live in them or eat plant or plant and eat uh, others eat. For as the days of a tree, so will be the days of my people. The chosen ones will sing long enjoy the works of their hands. They will not labor in vain, nor will they build, bear children doomed to misfortune, for they will be a people blessed by the Lord, they and their, their descendants with them. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb will feed together, and the lion will eat straw like an ox, and the dust will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy on my holy mountain, says the Lord. Um... So here we have kind of um, a bit more like promises of God's wrath coming at an eventual date. Of course, we don't know when this judgment will come, but we have this as in other sections of our devotions throughout the book of Isaiah, you have kind of this dichotomy between it's really scary talk, but then also this beautiful language used and reserved for individuals who call the Lord their God and listen to what he says and do what pleases him. Um, and so God promises to take care of his people and he promises to call, bring forth descendants from Jacob and Judah, so the northern and southern regions of the area. And so there aren't going to be, um, there won't be a lack of those who love the Lord but there also will not be a lack of those who don't. Um, and of course, God has plans for everybody. Um, but then we also see this new um, heaven and new earth uh, promised after the kind of scary parts of Judgment Day. We have this beautiful promise and the fact that God just continues to create and what he creates is good and kind and lovely. And um, it takes care of all of the children that he loves. So, yes, now if you will fold your hands with me and we will pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Um, announcements. Tomorrow we're um, packing up all the Christmas decorations. So if you would like to assist with that, it's a lot of carrying empty bins into the church so we can pack them up and then take them back out to the sheds. So if you can volunteer strong arms and legs, that would be wonderful. We're going to do that at 10. So just come on by the church and we'll get stuff packed up and put away. Um, we have Sunday school at 915, followed by worship at uh, 1030 at, on Sunday. So we would love to see any and all of you there as well. But until then, those are all the announcements I have for today. So I hope you guys have a very blessed Friday.